it's reminding myself that I ultimately can't change the primary thing that brought the person to sit in front of me, and that is their cancer. The most difficult part of my job with cancer patients is I want to instill hope, and I, I never want to get false hope, and I, you know, I can't tell them that the process is going to be peachy keen. <laughs> I can't say you're not going to feel like a truck hit you. I can't say you're not going to feel like you don't want to wake up in the morning. So I think it, it's trying to juggle that because I want to be honest with the patients and say, it's not going to all be fun, but let's get through it. And I, th I think it's just finding that common ground where you can kind of guide them. I think that's a bit of, you never want to be dishonest with anyone, you know, and you got to find that way to give them hope, yet know that, you know, it's going to be a little rocky road along the way a little bit. What's the most frustrating? Watching people go into denial and not make healthy choices for themselves and so n neglect themselves from their own self-empowerment to not heal the body and also those that are so far progressed that they lose their lives. The most frustrating part of my job would be working with coworkers that are not compassionate. They don't feel the same way that I do. This job to me is a big part of my life. And with my faith, I, I see everyone as a person, not just a cancer patient. They're, they're a whole person. They have feelings, they have emotions. And I, if I see someone that's not being treated right, if they're rushed in and rushed out, I, I'll let them know. But fortunately, my team they're very respectful of all their patients, and we do work well together. The uncontrollable. So like I said, I mean, I think, you know, you can do everything right. I mean, you've, the, person, the person's done everything right in terms of, you know, going through all their treatment, we've given all the right treatment, and then, you know, the cancer can still come back. I think that's kind of the most humbling and frustrating part of having to deal with that is that it's just, you know, there's certain things that are out of our hands. I mean, you do your best, but at the end of the day, you still, it pisses you off, right? It's, uh, that's a hard part. Thank you.